Okay, so <clears throat> my buddy asked me how to use our TI Inspire CX CAS to you to do logarithmic functions. So let's just a couple quick things. One, here's the logarithmic function here in blue. Hopefully you can see it right there. Alabama is. I'm gonna hit Control, then I'm gonna hit this key right here. So hopefully you saw that. Then I'm gonna put the log value here. If I don't put anything, I think that I'm going. It's gonna assume that it's this. Let's take a look. Okay, good. It actually showed us this. The common log, which is just log of whatever, right, shows up like this. So here, if I just want to put in the common log, if you just see log like this, but you don't seem to see any value here in this, any base value here, you assume that it's a 10, and that's what I wanted to find out. We know that 10 squared is 100, so we know this worked. So what it did was, if I left this blank, it assumed that a 10 went here. Let's try to put in a thousand. One, two, three. We should get back three, right? Okay, so that is how that's going to work. Anything else, you just put in the logarithmic value that you want. So let's say I want log base 2 of 32. Remember that log base 2 of 32, what that means is 2 to some power is equal to 32. So the question is here is 2 to what power is 32? Some people look at this and like it's 2 to the 32nd power. That's not how this is read. This is read log. The name, number here is the base. So log base 2, name that base, log base 2 of 32 is equal to what number? And remember that the question that we're being asked is, the real question that we're being asked, well, let's take a look at it really quickly. It should be 5 here, right? Here's my proof. Because if I rearrange, if I, if I take this number to this power, I should get this number back. So let's try that. 2 to the 5th power. Now, what I'm trying to convince you of is this, that this 2 is this 2 right here, and that this 5 is this 5 right here. So if I, the way I always look at it, it's like a little circle. This base to this power should equal this value. Let's see if that's not true. And it is. All right. So I hope that's really, really helpful to you. Um, let me know if what you really want to be able to do is solve equations with this. But man, I'm telling you, knowing how to use logarithms is a really, really powerful thing. Let's take something else like um, we know that 3 to the 4th power is 81, isn't it? Because 3 times 3 is 9. The other 3 times the other 3 is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. So let's look at that. Let's try that. You know what else I want to know? I want to know, can I type in the word log? And you can, but I won't let you put the base in. So if I was going to use the common log. Anyway, so log, log base 3 of 81. And I'm saying I think that should be 4 because I believe that 3 to the fourth power is 81. Let's see if I'm right. Dun, dun, dun. So here's my proof of this going backwards is that 3 to the fourth power is equal to 81. So I, I don't have my, uh, my pen with me right now. I'm sitting in my... Uh, office without my tab my tablet so this is all I can really show you because I can't write for you right now but hopefully you're seeing this right there's also a way to let me see if I can make one work for you because it's really cool so if I type in solve solve um, let's use one of those we have log whoa baby I type in log, so you control log. If I name that as a variable, log base x of 81. And I go to the outside here. Check this out. This is so cool. It's equal to 4. Right? This is the part we got to pay attention. you got to put this comma here. It means in terms of this comma right there, comma, x. Take a second to to take that in and screw around with this on your calculator. Now here's the question. Whoops. Yeah, this is good. So the question that we're asking the calculator to solve is x to the fourth power is equal to 81. What's that x? And it should be 3, right? Let's find out. Dun, dun, dun. So we're using the solve function there and the logarithmic functions. So I'm hoping this is really helpful to you guys. The more stuff you can do with this calculator, well, frankly, the more stuff you can do with this calculator, and that's a good thing. Okay, I hope this video was really helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And to some of my guys out there, 
Bama, you know who you are, and I appreciate all you do. And I'm, I try to pay you back every day. Every time you ask me a question, I try to get right to it. So I bumped you to the top of my list today. I've been about uh, – well, you can look on my thing. I've been about, I don't know, a week without doing much. I went on vacation to get a little tan. So uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you. Your comments are always welcome, and I look forward to hearing from you. So uh, thanks very much. Where? Dun, dun, dun.